Hey Synth Dragons, the Empress Echo system is on my short list of favorite delays. Not only is it awesome, but they keep updating it with more algorithms. Empress just made it even better with firmware update 2.06 that adds two more algorithms. They've added a new granular mode since, you know, granular is the new hotness right now, and a freeze mode. Let's give the new modes a listen on a synth, and at the end of the video I'll explain the upgrade process. If you like this kind of content, please like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I'll be using a pad sound with an Ovation Peak so you can hear both the freezification and granular modes easily. And here's the dry signal. So the first one that we're going to go ahead and check out is the freezification mode, and that's set in the ambient setting when it's set to purple, so I'll go ahead and enable that. None of the settings really do anything except uh, thing one and two. So now I'll press the tap button, and there you go, it's frozen. Thing one and two set the fade in and fade out, so right now they're all the way down, so you'll get instant fade out or just it'll stop. So what I'll do is I'll turn them about halfway and then... And now when I disengage the setting, you'll hear a fade out. So that's pretty much it. It's kind of useful, especially since this is dual engine. You can have that piped in to another algorithm, so you can kind of have something to play over. I mean, this has a full looper, but this is kind of like just simple for small. Like for a pad, for instance, that's why I'm using the pad. So that's pretty cool. So the next setting that our algorithm is the new granular setting. Um, that is set with the red on stutter. I'm going to go ahead and turn down tone, thing one and thing two, which are all settings in this one. And the time and feedback are just like a normal delay time and feedback. So dry again, I'll turn it on. So tone is the granular density, So and the thing one is the granular size or the grain size. So it'll sound like crap right now like it's it almost sounds like a digital buffer overflow or something like that or you know like dat dropouts now if i turn this up so the density basically sets how high quality i'm guessing the grain is or how big the grain is well it's not really the size of the grain it's kind of like the quality now if i turn up the grain uh size It'll start sounding more like the input. It's almost like a tremolo now. It sounds really cool on its own. Now, thing two changes randomization of the pitch. So now it's playing back each of the grains randomly. You can go really insane by it. Basically, the buffer size. I mean, they call it grain size, but it's the size of the buffer for each grain. Some feedback on that. I kind of just like it without any randomization. Because then when the pad stops, for instance, it kind of gives like a glitchy feel to it. To update the pedal, you'll need a full sized SD card or some way to adapt a micro SD card, like in my case, to a full sized one. It'll have to be 8 gigabytes or bigger, so it has to be of the high capacity variety, and it has to be formatted to FAT32. I'm using this micro SD card with an adapter to full size. I found it in a kit of uh, old Raspberry Pi stuff that I had, so it'll work just fine. The pedal itself will be required, obviously, and so will a power supply. A device with an SD card reader or an SD card reader in a device already that has the ability to copy files to it in FAT32 in this case, a Windows 10 laptop. The updated files from Empress are linked in the description. What you're going to want to do is download it and copy it to the SD card. The file will be the EEES0206. In this case, I'm using the 0205 in this video. I accidentally downloaded the wrong thing, but just download the right one, which is the 0206.bin bin, uh, binary file. What you're going to do then is just drag it to your SD card with whatever file explorer uh, 
equivalent you have on the device like if it's android you could use cx file explorer or whatever or you can on mac os it's finder whatever it's called these days so then at that point you're going to want to place the sd card into the echo system with the unit unplugged plug in the unit the preset lights will go from yellow to green and then the pedal itself will reboot. At this point, take out the SD card because if you don't, every time you power on the pedal, it'll try to firmware update. Plug in the unit and then just have fun with it.